There are two mindsets in the world. One, scarcity, two, abundant. Because I want to see every opportunity is a opportunity for growth. And exams are exciting because I get to deepen my focus, to learn stuff quicker, and actually be able to, to understand what I'm doing in my university. And you should look at it in a different perspective because if you look at it in a scarcity mindset, that's when it will take control of you, but you should take control of it with your abundance. You can control it, you can focus on studying better or how intense you can get in your focus. And the energy you waste on stressing could be used in a better form like studying. I remember having this confidence because I had this belief in myself. Because when you put hard work into something, you put perseverance into something, you get this belief that no one else can take from you. And you walk into that exam hall feeling like the shit. You feel like amazing, right? Also trusting in fate in a way, trusting in something else than yourself, um, trusting in the fate of it getting there and believing that it's my choice, it's my responsibility, it's no one else's and I'm not going to moan about it because at the end of the day, it's inevitable, it's going to happen. If I'm going to go down this academic route, I have to do exams, I have to do challenging things and that is what I did. And I, I was comfortable being uncomfortable. It's trying train your mind to be comfortable in discomfort. What I did is that I did habits like taking a cold shower. It, it's quite hard mentally, but after you feel amazing, it stops you de-stressing, allows you to be in the moment. And um, <laughs> yes, it hurts, but it's, it's all right. Number two, try and focus on exercising. Um, I remember coming home from my school and always trying to exercise because I was always quite frustrated and annoyed at whatever happened in the day or just wanted to release some energy because I've been sat down all day. And um, getting outside, moving, moving your body, letting your mind wander, it allows you really to um, be in nature and just reset. So I hope that helps. Another habit that helped me is that I used to read like a novel before bed. I used to read something completely not related to self-improvement or anything, just a story. And it allows me to switch off better this leads on nicely to the next one which is sleep well um, if you don't sleep well you can't rationalize these emotional things that happen into you especially stressful exams another thing that i found that was really really helpful is that i time blocked my time um, i carry a notebook wherever i go and it allows me to be intentional it allows me to time block my time of what i want to do today What's best thing about time blocking is that it allows you to be intentional. It allows you to answer the three most important questions when you're trying to be intentional with your time. When, where, and how. When are you going to study? Well, you have to do it in your time block. When are you, where are you going to study? Well, um, you have to decide that. You have to actually take time of your day to travel to that place. And how are you going to study? You have to just write down the tasks that you're going to do. So at the end of the day, if you put enough work in, um, that's enough. And you need to know that's enough. And you need to love yourself in the process of it because you can't look up. Um, past that because that's the most important thing i hope that helped guys and peace